Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 88. We're continuing our SHOT Show coverage for 2016. We uh, stopped by the AR500 Armor booth here to have a look around. Uh, there's quite a few new things that they've got going on this year, mainly stuff that's uh, catering to kind of the law enforcement community. Uh, it's a line that they are calling their Peacekeeper line. We're going to talk about that here in a moment. But you guys know that we've done a lot of testing with AR500 Armor. We did our Mark 46 video recently where we, you know, pelted the crap out of some of their stuff with a machine gun. We did some stuff with the camera. In fact, they've got like a few of our videos, you know, running here at the booth, which is always kind of cool to see that, you know, when you're in this type of environment. Um, but they've got a lot of interesting carriers in addition to, the, you know, you guys are probably familiar with the types of armor that they have. They also do a soft armor. This is a level 3A. Uh, you know, in, in terms of soft armor, uh, you know, this is going to be rated for up to 44 Magnum. So it's pistol threats. But when it comes to soft armor carriers as well as hard armor carriers, they've got a couple of options now with their Peacekeeper line. And, and these... These carriers can also be used for, you know, p civilians as well, but it's something that they're kind of marketing for law enforcement. Uh, one of them is called the Patrol. So this is meant to be kind of everyday, you know, duty type vest for a police officer, you know, everyday duty vest, okay? So that's why they call it the Patrol, kind of for your patrolman, okay? That kind of makes sense. Then they've got a version called the Light, all right? And this is their Light. This is meant to be kind of, uh, you know, lightweight, small, concealable. You know, a guy might wear this under, you know, his uniform, okay? You notice a lot of police officers have armor, and they, they all look all puffy. That's because they're wearing armor under their actual, you know, patrol shirts and everything like that. So that's what this is kind of uh, meant to fill. And then they've got a version that they're calling the tactical, and obviously, You've got Velcro on it. You've got uh, side panels for your arms for protection. You've got Molly attachments on the front if you want to run all your mag pouches and everything like that. So that's pretty cool there. And of course, it's a hard armor carrier. You can put hard armor in it too. So if they're AR-500 plates, we'll ride right in that. This is more of a vest like you would see uh, SWAT teams, military guys using overseas. Uh, it's pretty much that type of vest. Um, I like the construction of it. It's pretty cool, you know. Carriers are kind of one of those things, you know, um, but that's something that they've got new this year. The, the uh, Peacekeeper line, obviously, you know, given some flexibility there to law enforcement that might want to use their armor and they want to have a kind of a, a, a do-all solution. They can shop in one place. They can get the carrier they want. They can get the armor. Uh, there's a couple of other options, which uh, we're not going to be able to move around the booth a ton uh, right now, but over to my right, you'll see in a moment, there's a couple of uh, very low-profile carriers that are kind of a, almost a minimalist type arrangement and then they get a little bit larger depending on the amount of protection you need or the type of plate that you want to carry. So see this little guy here's got Velcro so you can identify any unit units or you know hey I'm a good guy, sheriff, whatever. Or if you're just a gun guy like me, you know put your favorite patch on there and then your Molly attachments. So uh, pretty cool stuff there. AR500 armor, they're a great bunch of guys. You know, we've been doing, uh, we've been destroying their products uh, for quite a while and they're a good bunch of people to work with. Um, we've got a, a bunch of random things planned with these guys this year. So uh, if you, I want you guys to let me know. Tell me what you want me to do to their armor. What do you want me to shoot their armor with? Uh, what, what's the next crazy thing we need to do? So we're always thinking of uh, silly things that we can do that you know, maybe not be uh, quite so uh, much in the realm of realism, but sometimes can really show how tough the dang armor really is. So uh, we enjoy doing body armor tests and uh, we want to come by here and just show you a couple of the new products. So uh, guys, we have so much SHOT Show coverage on the way. Make sure you stay in tuned just about every hour and a half or two during the week of shot and probably a few days after shot we're going to have a ton of coverage so make sure that you're uh, staying tuned and uh, we'll catch you guys soon thanks for watching